Okay, we've got yet another coax video here for you. Today we're going to be focusing on compression fittings. And the reason why I'm making this video is uh, not, for the, not for the professionals. They, are, you know, they already know what to do, but uh, just to get the homeowner an idea of the different kind of connectors and maybe the cost involved. You know, if your cable company is charging you 15 bucks, which I saw that comment on one of my channels, you know, it's really it's not that bad of a deal considering the cost of these connectors um, and the cost of the tools to do it. So anyway, um, I have not been using these exclusively. I've been using them once in a while. I've had the tools for a while, but uh, again, it's the cost of these connectors. Um, these can range in cost. I was using Ideal. I found a source where I get PPC, which is the same connectors that the uh, DirecTV and whatnot uses. Uh, I get 100 of them for $20, which is actually cheaper than the crimpons I was buying. So that's awesome news. So these are probably going to be ex exclusive from now on. You see, I've got some tools here. Well, I've got a small piece of wire. This is Quad Shield. I've got a Ideal stripper. This is a RG6, RG59. This is a three-stage stripper, which means it has, you probably can't see those. There's three blades in there, and it strips it uh, in three-quarter sections. And we'll, get, we'll go over that in a moment. And uh, got a two-stage stripper, set of cuts, side cuts, and I've got the compression tool and the fittings, obviously. So back to the strippers. Well, some of these connectors are specified two-stage or three-stage. PPC is a universal, but on their website, they specify two-stage, quarter by quarter and quarter cut. Um, I've seen retailers that say they're three-stage which would be quarter, quarter, quarter. So I'm going with their recommendation, but I do keep this tool in case I do go back to Ideal or, or what have you. A lot of the ones I was, I was buying were three-stage, so I keep this in there. This can be adjusted to a two-stage. I just don't feel like messing with that. This cutter here is a two-stage. Uh, I prefer this one, um, not because of the PPC, but it has a built-in twisted pair can, uh, cutter. So I don't have to carry around two cutters. And I have this one, you know, if I'm doing data and uh, coax, I've got to use two cutters, which I just don't like doing that. It's, it's just better to, uh, for me personally, to use one tool, I don't lose it, what have you. So first thing you want to do, don't ever trust the end of your wire. It could be uh, corroded, what have you. So always give yourself a fresh, clean cut. So. Just simply cut it. It's going to be oval a little bit. And this probably won't catch very well because I don't have a macro on my camera. But simply push it down with your hand, fingers, make it round. And there you go. Okay, the next thing you want to do is get your strippers. Make sure you don't have any remnants from your old job in there. And you'll see there's a little catch here. That lets you know the end of where to put that. And that's going to determine the length of your center conductor, which is already perfect on this one. What I do is twist it, and it's effortlessly, it's not very hard, twist it both directions. And you'll actually hear, you probably can't hear on this camera, but uh, you'll hear and you'll feel the strands or the, uh, the shielding being cut. And once you feel there's nothing, no resistance, you're done. Now once you're done with that, you can either clamp this off and pull these pieces off individually, or you can just simply hold the wire and just pull up real easy, and it takes everything with it and leaves that in there and you're already stripped. So this goes back to the two stage. There's a quarter inch of center conductor and a quarter inch of the outer uh, the uh, outer shield. This is quad so there's another shield within there. Now if this were a three stage it would have a quarter of the conductor, a little bit smaller which would go to the inner shield and then this would be down a quarter inch more. So once you've got that cut you actually want to, you're going to have to, these little strands going to be strands in there. You need to pull those back. And I've actually seen people use uh, Velcro or they'll use their other items to, uh, you know, just kind of strip it real quick. But we're just using this right here, just using the finger. And you want to make sure you don't want any of those touching the center conductor. So once you've got all those pulled back, you're now ready for your compression fitting. Simply put it in there slowly, make sure it's all lined up, 
and you can push it. Now, if you had, need a little bit of assistance pushing it, put it in here. That gives you some leverage. But we don't really need that. So, here you go. It's in there. You want about a sixteenth of an inch this out. And you want the uh, center here flush with the inside, which it is. And then the next step is using the tool. Now, this tool, um, like I said, this is the regular model. They have an XL model. This one here, this is adjustable, though. And I've got this adjusted for the PPC. Um, the ideal ones are the same length, but they don't compress down as far. So, but there's these little, little teeth here. And you don't have to pull those back to put the wire in. You simply just push it down. See them clamp, clamp around that. Push this in the hole in the center. There you go. And the tool, it's like a set of vice grips. You just push it down and squeeze. Pull it out. And there you go. And you can see the difference here in size. See the center section here, that's what seals it up, compresses it down. And this is not, uh, this is not coming off. And that's really all there is to it. Now you've got the best connection you can possibly have, um, you know, versus crimping or screw on. It's uh, not for, you know, not for everybody, but I do a lot of this, uh, well, not all the time, but when I do get a job, it's, you know, it could be 50 to 100 cable drops, and using the compression is so much easier. Typically, uh, and, you know, weekly, I don't get that many of the, the cable runs. A lot of times a cable company will do that, so, but when I do, it uh, makes it so much better having these. Homeowners, I probably wouldn't, uh, if you're only, you know, you need to hook up a, a cable box, one cable box, I probably would not invest the money. The cheaper of the strippers here, this is $15. These strippers are $30 to $35. The compression tool is $69. They do have a cheaper version of that tool, but side cuts can, a uh, good set, could run anywhere from uh, $15 to $100. And then the, the compression fittings themselves. Um, if you don't want to buy in bulk and you need, you know, 10 of them, ideal, 10 of them at uh, Home Depot of ideal brand is, I think, about $20 for 10 of them. So they're about $2 a pop. Um, and then, of course, you need the wire. That is about it. Please uh, feel free to post any questions, comments, rate, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.